now in its ninth year, this is GabNet, the great American broadcast network. Talk like you've never heard it before. Bennett, we go until midnight tonight. From New York, New York, the city's so nice they named it twice, yes, and all that kind of crap. Okay, hello, how are you? Oh boy, it's warm in here. It's not really hot in New York, it's only 70 degrees. But anyway, and uh, whatever. Uh, well, let me see here. What, what, what do we got here? Oh, yeah, all right, okay, we got to go to. Uh, all right, we 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 got to do this. Is this we do every now and then uh, when we don't have anything else to put on? Uh, this is uh, Phil Meyer, ladies and gentlemen. Hello, Philip. Hey, uh, it's greetings from the Bay Area of San Francisco. Yeah, yeah. Uh, well, you're, you're not in San Francisco. That's just the background you're using. No, I'm in the Bay Area of San Francisco. Oh, of San Francisco. Yeah, right. Yeah. Anyway, hello there, Phil. How are you? Uh, I'm, I'm doing pretty good. I heard there was uh, smoke again in uh, New York today. No, I didn't. Well, maybe no, maybe that's that. why. Maybe that's why I'm having a little hard time breathing today. Yeah. Yeah. I I didn't know that, but it might be because I think the Canadian wildfires are still going on. Yeah, know, and so. uh, I understand that it's also affecting Chicago. So it's, uh, it's, it's widespread. It may have dissipated from the yeah. orange skies that you had, but uh, I think it's probably... Uh, still... We didn't have the orange skies today, but if you're saying that we are supposed to have some kind of smoke here, then maybe that's why I've been coughing a little bit and feeling, you know, a little short well, of breath. Yeah. At least you know. Yeah. Well, you know, I'm affected by those things because uh, when I was a kid, I had asthma, so... Yeah, you know, but nobody wants to hear what I had when I was a kid. Everybody will. <laughs> Everybody will. I'll give you a complete, uh, complete deal we on it. That. Right? What's that yeah. shirt you're wearing? Uh, this was. Um... Oh, jeez! No, hide it, hide it, please. <laughs> Let me avert my eyes, please, please. <laughs> oh, I figured it would, it would be a good shirt for tonight. Yeah, it, it really? Why would it be a good shirt for tonight? Well, uh, Tony says that they're going to come after you, Phil. <laughs> they're, they're, what is, but, uh, is he making trouble again? Of course. Huh? He's, he's a disturber. He uh, really is. I mean, you know. What, why are we coming after you again? What are we, what are we coming uh, after you for? I, uh, I, I like Trump. and I, uh, I have no idea why. I well, have no idea. Well, at, at this point, I would think you would be on to somebody else. There is no one else. What do you mean? You got. Uh, you got. Have, have you looked at the polling numbers? Have you uh, seen the media and the way that yeah, Trump? I've seen. I've seen the man. I've seen the polling numbers. They haven't changed. In right, fact, in fact, in fact, Trump is down a little bit. Uh, yeah, but he's still up around fifty-three percent. No, 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 no. It was, it's in, the, it's in the, it's in the low forties. So it's cold out. And but, and, uh, and and DeSantis is about twenty points behind him. Yeah. yeah. Well, at the moment, that's a long way. But what's happening? But no, is, but you're you're misrepresenting what the facts are, and that is that his numbers have actually gone down rather than gone up. When have facts mattered? Well, the, uh, you watch Fox. Of course you don't care about facts. Well, you know, uh, all I know is that Trump has commanded the news cycle. Very similar to what he did no, he, in he, 16. No, what he does, well, to begin with, I don't, uh, you know, I, I'd i like to think he's a great master manipulator of the media. But the fact is the media allows him to manipulate them. Okay. Because if they just shut up about him and only report on him when he does something newsworthy, then uh, 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 you know they wouldn't be adding to the uh, to the problem. But they're the problem as well. 
you know. Oh, absolutely. But you know, there, but he's the, only dominating it because I mean, what a way to dominate it. He got indicted. That's that's a way to dominate it. You know, you you make uh, I know being indicted is no fun and you got to be able to afford to defend yourself. But when you're when you're indicted, you're accused. And when and the only people that have really put up a, a uh, an argument is the government mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. uh, and Smith. Mm -hmm. uh, Trump has not had an opportunity to defend himself. Oh yes, he has. Haven't you seen? Didn't not you see him? In, oath. No, not under oath, but oath. But he seems to be making his case every time he talks. Oh, these are people lying about blah 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 blah, blah and they're doing this and that. He shouldn't even be talking about the case. He but should just say, "I'm not going to talk about it. I'm going to go to court and I'm going to make my case." Okay. But no, he that, gets up and he, he calls he calls everybody an idiot, and a moron, and and out to get him, and you know. Well, that's what he should do, but, you know, you're innocent until uh, I think I think uh, uh, Albert put it best. Uh, Donald Trump is America's victim. Well, you know, so are, uh, you know, every everybody else in America is a victim. Well, what do you uh, mean? What are you saying? Are you just talking? Well, you know, uh, I, I, oh, I didn't hear any wind, but it sounds like you're talking out your ass. No, you know, think about this. Uh, the gays are victims. The transgenders are victims. No, no, no. no, no, the, homeless no, no are victims. Stop, the drug stop. addicts are victims. You know, what you always do is you always sidetrack from the main topic. Well, that is the main topic. What, what you is, said is. What do you Trump mean? What is, a, what is the difference? Uh, what, is, what, is, what is similar about gays having problems in this country and Trump being indicted? Come on. It's the word victim. Come on. Everybody is a victim now. Nobody. You know, nobody just well, stands. Not, every, up no, just no, not everybody is a victim, but he's wee wee weeing that he's a victim. You know. Uh, all right. Well, it works for the Democrats. Why not for what him? Do you mean, what, what Democrat has called themselves a victim? Uh, who? Uh, who? The, who? Uh, you got the LG. LG no, no, no. I said. Alphabets? I said Democrats. You said Democrats. Tell me. Are a Democrat. these people usually identify tell with? Me, tell me a. Phil, you're not going to squirm out of this. You said a Democrat. Yeah, the, the, the Democrats call uh, themselves I said Democrats. Victims. You weren't saying gays. You weren't saying blacks. You weren't saying Hispanics. You weren't saying. Okay, uh, of course, I, I did actually. I said homeless. They're, they're all victims. They're victims of America, a country that traditionally has been racist, anti-Semitic, and everything else. Yeah, well, there. I can't trust the media anymore because the media is saying that. Uh, Donald Trump has got anti-Mexican, anti-Jewish uh, 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 emails and, and things like that. Uh, I haven't heard that. Well, yeah, yeah, it was it was on Drudge tonight. Oh, it was on Drudge tonight. That's that's where you get all your news from. Okay. Well, that, it's where I get a yeah. uh, I get directed to the news and then I read the article. Oh, I see. And that and uh, I think that one was an, a, a Rolling Stone article. Mm. So you know. Uh, Anyway, uh, I'm sure we'll be getting into Trump a little later. Uh, I, I wanted to mention the uh, Dick Bright, Bobby Slayton thing on Why? Sunday. Why? Oh, it was great. Yeah, but nobody knows who we're talking about. Well, there were very important people to you in your career. I don't care. Well, then maybe that's why. No, I'm just uh, saying that we got an audience out there who doesn't know when I say Bobby Slayton and I say, Dick, especially if I say Dick Bright, they don't know who I'm talking about. Well, Bud E. Love, I guess, uh, uh, performed uh, a number of times or, or uh, on a regular basis with Dick Bright. Uh, I guess they're very close. And uh, Robert Vickers is a friend of yours, Bud E. Love. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, he couldn't be there Sunday. He actually had a paid gig in Santa Cruz. And so uh, he was supposed to be there, and I was looking forward to meeting him in person. But uh, I, I want to say, you know, and Bobby Slayton, I, I think that all of the 32 listeners that listened to I this I already got a report on this from Bubbles. Well, he wasn't there. He was there. He performed with, uh, he with Bobby the, Slayton was, on Tuesday. He, well, that's, that's where he was, yeah. Right, on Tuesday. But mm -hmm. on Sunday... Uh, this this, this crowd. Dude, nobody cares about this, Phil. No, okay, nobody well, really. Ca I mean, I love these people, right? Yeah. And Bobby Slayton's one of my best friends of all time, uh, and uh, uh, so uh, Dick Bright has always been a good associate of mine. But 
most of the people out there don't know who we're talking about. All right. Well, they they know Bobby Slayton. No, they and, don't. No, they don't. Oh, I would well, say I would say the average person right now does not know who Bobby Slayton is because the younger audiences don't pay attention to him. Well, the younger audiences don't listen to you, and our our listeners are not average. <laughs> so, the only people that would that would know what you're talking about are people who used to listen to me. But if I ask uh, Jeff when he comes on here. Did you ever hear of Bobby Slayton? He'll go, no. Oh, you should ask him. If I ask, well, Tony, if I ask Tony, have you ever heard of Bobby Slayton? He will say no. All right. Well, the reason I, I mention it is that he talked about comedians and uh, not being able to do stand-up. Uh, and he went after every single group, whether it was the Chinese, the blacks, the gays, the lesbians. Uh, it didn't matter. He left no stone unturned when it came to insulting. I, see, now you're those, telling everybody what was on this show. Nobody cares. You'll you'll see if anybody cares. Nobody cares. All right. So what do you care about? Nothing. Uh, okay. <laughs> That's obvious. <laughs> That's obvious. Uh, well, then you'll care about this. Yeah. I got my PRP shot today. What's a PRP shot? Uh, it's uh, for the ED. What's ED? Oh, yeah, erectile, erectile dysfunction. dysfunction. Oh, you have erectile dysfunction? Oh, you better believe it. From, uh, you know, I had a, a prostatectomy. I had cancer. I had uh, I have diabetes. And uh, all of these things contribute to ED as well as the drugs that they give you to keep you alive. Well, that and the fact nobody wants to have sex with you. But that's the other problem. Yeah, well, but that pill. Uh, I, got, I do have somebody in the next room, unlike you know most of your listeners. Well, that, I have somebody in the next room too. Right, but she doesn't let you in it. <laughs> so, <laughs> any anyway, you, you know we so were talking what, what about. So what is this? What is this? What is it? Is it a pill? Is it a shot? Is it a? Uh, it's it's worse than a shot. What they do oh, is. Oh God! They, uh, don't tell yeah. me! Don't tell yeah. me! Yeah. Is, is this gonna? Is this gonna yeah. hurt? Uh, it surprisingly not that much, but um, uh, it, it probably hurts to What's think it about called? it. What's it called? PCP or P -P no, uh, PRP? PRP. Uh, so what what they do is they take your blood mm -hmm. and they put it in sort of a centrifuge that uh, don't, separates platelets. Oh, what quack are you going to, uh, Doctor uh, Vinnie Von Betts? Well, yeah, but, 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 but really. I, I, I know what you're going to tell me. They then put the blood in, they circulate it around, and then they, shall we say, inject it into your penis? On two sides. On two sides. So, yeah, in the veins that run down. The, Where did the, you hear about this? Uh, it was in the Gabnet store. I even had no, a where, no, where did you hear coupon. about this? Uh, well, I've, I've heard about uh, a PRP. They use it for... Um, uh, knees. They use it for uh, 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 people that have uh, other kinds of so injuries. So you let them inject your penis with your own blood? Yeah, it's better than your blood. <laughs> you know. Hmm. Uh, hey, I, I, what do I got to lose? Maybe your whole penis will fall off. You know, uh, that would be a that you know uh, that would that be would a probably plus. be a blessing to a lot of people. <laughs> Yeah, well, you know, they, they wouldn't be able to call me a prick anymore. But <laughs> so uh, anyway, what happens is it's supposed to uh, th this is supposed to generate more uh, blood vessels that carry the blood into the penis and uh, help give you. Oh, so that is so unscientific it's ridiculous actually you, you should look up this uh, PRP they also call it the P shot uh, and uh, it, uh, it's it's supposed where did to you hear about this I mean what 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 site do you go to uh, well you know I had heard about oh, by the uh, way how much did this this cost you well it's part of the total uh, seven thousand dollars that I uh, paid them. Oh, really? For what? Uh, for eighteen Gaines Wave uh therapy sessions and three PRP sessions. Uh, oh, okay, is it working yet? Not really. See, 
But and you know, wait a minute, it comes and let me the, ask you. Here, here, here's. We'll tell you whether this is a quack or not. Okay. Yeah. Is it covered by insurance? No. But okay. It comes, well, that answers the question when, right there. It comes with a free bottle of Extends, and that was the product that your uh, buddy, who's in jail, the uh, porno guy, uh, what's his name, uh, Rotten, uh, Rod, Rod, uh, Ron Jeremy. Ron Jeremy. He used to advertise. Uh, extends, which was basically a vitamin. Did you try? Made. Did you try that? No. No. Okay. Are you going to try it now that you have a free bottle of Extends? No, I didn't get a free bottle oh. of Extends. <laughs> no, you paid for it. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But well, it's in the mail. So anyway, uh, you know, it's very common for people that have had a prostatectomy or uh, because the nerves are damaged uh, when they cut the urethra and they remove the prostate and then I went through seven weeks of radiation when the cancer came back and I'm sure that screwed me up too mm-hmm. you know because they didn't have a prostate to focus on so they focused on the area and uh, with the radiation yeah so um, I figured hey uh, I'm not getting any younger uh, this is a fairly new uh, therapy and I'd give it a shot well, I mean, I will have to admit that after what I what I had with my prostate, they didn't remove mine, mm-hmm. but they smashed it flat like a pancake, and uh, they, you know, with the uh, with the seeds and the whole thing, uh, pretty much I have the same effect on my penis as you do on yours. Although I can get it erect if I have to, okay, yeah. I still can do that, but the fact is that. Uh, you know, I mean, uh, I, the way I looked at it, of course, at 83, is I had, uh, you know, how many years of good use out of that? And, uh, you know, if it doesn't work as well as it used to now, so be it, you know? Yeah, well, I understand. I had a pretty good run myself, and yeah. that's why I decided to go with the prostatectomy. But, uh, you know, I, there, there's always regrets, you know, when, when you don't have what you had. Uh, there's a way to get some of it back. And I don't know that this, I'm sure this is not going to give me a uh, performance like when I was 40, but it will have certainly. You try, have you tried anything like any of the, uh, the uh, uh, you know, the uh, boner enhancement Viagra. pills, Viagra, things like that? Yeah, um, they, they gave me Viagra after the prostatectomy, mm-hmm. and it didn't work anymore. It used to work great yeah. prior to the prostatectomy. But uh, it didn't work anymore. So, and there's a point where your uh, arteries are clogged with plaque uh, in in the penis, and uh, who, who that to- plaque. Who, who told you that? It's it's common knowledge. No, it's not common knowledge. I never heard it. Well, uh, as you get older, you get you get plaque. That uh, because these my these boy, my boy re- my boy until my prostate seed implantation mm-hmm. uh, was working just fine. But you didn't have diabetes. Oh well, you you know just because you wanted to complicate it with eating way too many candy bars, <laughs> and that's probably what did it. But you know diabetes uh, takes its toll. One of the reasons people have a lot of uh, heart issues uh, mm-hmm. uh, blockages is cholesterol, but that cholesterol is uh, is exacerbated and these blockages are exacerbated by diabetes mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so um, you know with with high cholesterol and all the other uh, wonderful things I had mm-hmm. uh, I decided to try this hey if, if it works I'm ahead if it doesn't work at least I tried yeah seven thousand dollars worth for a phony cure well uh, I don't know that it's Phony. You know, I, I, I went online. You should have gone I, to a I, urologist. You should have said to this uro- to a ur- good urologist, you know, and I'm sure you had one, go to them and say, listen, this thing is being offered. Does it make any sense to you? And if they say no, then I wouldn't do it. Well, the, the problem is, is that Kaiser kind of totes the company line. No, it isn't a matter of Kaiser. Then go find another urologist. But ask any respected urologist, and they'll probably t- I'll ask my guy the next time I see him. Please, which is please do, because I'm... Which isn't I'm, until January, so... Well, you know. I paid up front for the maximum discount. <laughs> so, 
<laughs> you know, this this would have been nine, ten grand if I. Do uh, they have a money back guarantee? No. Nah. Well, maybe, but there you uh, go. There you go, the, my friend. You know, there is there is some improvement. Well, but I, it is, I, uh, yeah, I just I wish I, I I've got to come up with some kind of cure for you so I can get that money. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it's in the mail. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, anyway, that was uh, that was one of the things. So I'm I'm halfway through this uh, Gaines Wave therapy. Yeah. And, yeah. Uh, and halfway, and nothing's happened so far. Well, it's yeah, a little bit. Um, <laughs> Uh, what's, not what's, a, enough. what's a little bit? There's either enough or not enough. It's not enough yet. Uh, there, in there other has words, been... if if you if you had to use it, no, would not, it not like being putting a marshmallow in a Coke bottle? Uh, not that hard. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> it, it, it's more like whipped cream. Yeah. Well. Yeah. 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 That's but, too bad. Uh, That's too bad. That's too bad. You're such a sucker. Well, you know what are you going to do? Uh, my uh, the last topic that I thought we could talk about yes. because you San Francisco. This is your hometown. Uh, you know, half of the stores on Union Square have closed. Uh, uh, Nordstrom has left. That whole Westfield Shopping Center where Nordstrom was on Market Street, mm-hmm. uh, their a flagship store. Uh, the whole place is uh, is shutting down, and they're giving it back to the lender. Uh, There's this mall. Hotel. There's this mall. It's a mall. Yeah. Yeah. Is, well, did that used to be the Emporium? Uh, I think so. It was the Westfield Mall. Yeah, now, but then but didn't it become? The, wasn't the, it the Emporium? I think it was the Emporium ago? before. Because I've seen they showed the building on TV the other day, and I said, "Oh, that's you know, that's that's the Emporium, the old Emporium." Well, it's got it's got that beautiful rotunda which the Emporium had. Uh, and, um, you know, with that glass rotunda, it was just gorgeous. Well, there was a glass rotunda in the city of Paris, but that wasn't right. at that location. And that became J. Magnum, no, and then no, that no, became it didn't. Neiman Marcus. No, it, be, it became ne- it became Neiman Marcus. It didn't become J. Uh, J. Magnum. No, I. Magnum I. was Magnum. across the street. Yeah, J. and there was a J. Magnum, too. Right. But J. Yeah. Magnum wasn't there. No. Oh, it was, what, next door to that? It went from being uh, the city of Paris, which... God, that built that that company was there since the mid eighteen hundreds. Right. Okay. And then it went out of business and Neiman Marcus took over the spot, which it's a beautiful building. It's just an incredible yeah. building. Yeah. But, well, but, you know, but, that, that whole I, but area. I've heard about what's happened in San Francisco and it really I, I it grieves me. It really grieves yeah. me because that's the city I grew up in. I, uh, and all these, you know, all these iconic places that were there. You know, well, are no longer there, and and I hear that Market Street is a shambles, and I hear Van Ness yeah. Avenue is a shambles, and we were talking last night to uh, uh, what's his name um, um, uh, uh, in the Tenderloin. Oh, uh, was he back? Yeah, yeah. And John, uh, John, uh, somebody. Yeah, John. Yeah, John and John he, Larkin. Larkin. He's named. They yeah. named the street after him in the Tenderloin. Right, and a toilet, John Larkin. <laughs> yeah, uh, that's the best way to remember him. Uh, so uh, he just said it's it's terrible now. He's and he lives in the tenderloin, which was never any great shakes to begin with. Right. But he says it's just you know it's horrible. Yeah. Well, look, there was a um, Whole Foods. Everybody knows what Whole Foods uh, is, mm-hmm. and they opened up uh, a big one in San Francisco, mm-hmm. and they closed it within I think ten months. Uh, what had happened was that there were over five hundred and thirty five calls for police services in that 10-month period, and most of them went unanswered uh, because, uh, and people were just going in, they're, they're taking stuff uh, right and left. You know, the other stores like CVS and uh, Walgreens have to lock everything up behind glass. Well, here in New York, they had to do the same thing at Rite Aid up the street. You can't yeah. get help in any of these stores. How are you going to get anything from Yeah, behind? there's nobody there to open the thing, so how are they right. selling anything? Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's why you know a lot of these stores are closing up and they're certainly certainly fleeing San Francisco in droves. Mm-hmm. Um you know, so and you know, how can the restaurants survive uh because people aren't going back to their offices? Why would you want to go back to an office where if you went down into the street, people are shooting up, you got to walk past and through poop. Uh 
you know, it's, um, uh, oh, I understand that the elevators in, in the Nordstrom, uh, uh, Westfield Mall Shopping Center are just totally full of poop. And, uh, you know, I, I don't know what they're going to do. If, well, if, what you've got to do, okay, you, you're not going to like my answer, but mm-hmm. you've got to do something to help the homeless. I mean, I, I know that, the, you know, that doesn't sound like a good idea to you, but you've got to do something to re- alleviate their problems. And well, uh, I know that, and it, it could cost the city a lot of money, but that—that's the first thing you've got to do. This is this is not a matter of criminality or anything else. It's a matter that they've all come to San Francisco to begin with, because fentanyl's cheaper in San Francisco than it is anywhere else in the country. Well, let let me let me say this: the um, the problem is that there's so much corruption in the uh, in the production of homeless services that so many people have their hands in the kitty jar powerful people that keep our politicians in the bay area uh they they can throw their support to those politicians those politicians don't want to lose their job Mm -hmm. i say take uh, the homeless uh, uh, subsidies and the homeless monies away from government, mm-hmm. put it into uh, uh, a uh, uh, more of a private concern, whether it's churches or uh, uh, there, there's just you got to take the politics out of homelessness because mm-hmm. there are too many uh, lobbies that are too powerful and uh, they're taking the mainstay of the money you know the the program that i work with tunnel to towers the stephen siller foundation Mm -hmm. 95 percent of all the money that goes to them go uh is used for building houses for and and gifting them to uh veterans uh less than five percent is for overhead if you look at all of these others, whether it's a homeless concern or uh, the Red Cross or, or something like that, uh, there's there's maybe uh, there are a, a lot of organizations. You, you can check to see if you're going to give money to an organization. You can check and see what percentage of the money that you give goes to administration and what percentage of it goes to the actual alleviation of the problem. And if you find that it's somewhere like 10, 15 percent, okay, that's reasonable, all right? But if For you, overhead. Yeah, for overhead. But if you right. find that it's upwards like 35, 40 percent, then don't give them any money. Yeah, because it's, it's, just, it's just a con, uh, kind of like... Uh, it's not a con, con, it's just that they're, they're not, that if, at the very least, they're not managing the money well. Okay. Okay. Well, uh, and the thing with the homeless is... I, I don't have the exact numbers because I, I'd mentioned what I had heard in the past mm. and, and people had said, oh, no, it's this, not that. But as far as I know, let's say there's 30,000 homeless people mm-hmm. in San Francisco. Yeah. Uh, I, I believe that the budget in San Francisco for helping the homeless is $1.2 billion. Mm-hmm. And if 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 you look at thirty thousand people divided by one point two billion dollars, that's a lot of money, and that money and the help that they need, whether it's mental health, housing, mm-hmm. uh, it is not going to those people. It's going to these uh, programs that are taking the money uh, and and paying their own salaries. Well, you know, I mean, but all I'm saying is that the problem in San Francisco is you. You've got homeless people, and they have nowhere to go. And that's that's the problem, okay, plain and simple. I don't have to tell you what it is. Uh, and uh, the, the, you know, the, the stealing and the theft that goes around is because they're trying to get money for drugs. You know, so, I mean, it's just one vicious cycle. But I just, it grieves me, it breaks my heart to see it happening in San Francisco, oh, when which the- is my, in case people are not aware, is my hometown. Well, yeah. when the small hotels, especially during COVID, the, the smaller hotels in San Francisco opened their rooms up to homeless uh, so uh, to get them off the street during mm-hmm. the times of COVID. Mm-hmm. The homeless, in many cases, destroyed those rooms, destroyed those hotels. 
I don't know that uh, you can have uh, that that you could house uh, people that have these kinds of addictions and these mm-hmm. kinds of problems and not ex- and 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 have them succeed and not destroy uh, the the properties that we pay for and give them. Well, I but, brought on our people here. Good. No, I, I, I'd like to have a survey, please. Uh, raise your hands. Who's ever heard of Bobby Slayton? But Alex, the homeless, they don't want to go anywhere. Uh, Brian, you know who Bobby Slayton is? Yeah. Put your hand. Yeah, but those are all San Francisco oh. people. You no, did. look at Jeff. Jeff is not a San Francisco person. Jeff only... I've heard of the... Look, I've heard of and you got name. You got two holdouts in the no, corner. The reason some people have heard of him here is because I have interviews with him yes, on many an occasion. Right. So it. I mentioned him. Although not anymore because he says he's not doing interviews anymore. Well, I don't know. So, yeah. well, I don't think I've ever met him do a show. I just, I, your commercial. I just call him and I and I say hi you know, all the time. So, you know. So I think I think Phil any sham medicine that comes along, Phil is for it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Special. That's why, that's why, that's why he makes such good money. So the next sham medicine, mm-hmm. they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they got one where you stick your penis in this thing and it stretches it every day. I got one of those too. It came oh. for the seven, with the seven grand. There you go. Okay. Cool. Yeah. It's it's a pump. What do you got there? Oh. Oh, it came good. Yeah. Oh, just send him a bear. And, and you know where? Why it wasn't downstairs? No. Why? When I finally got it, the uh, the uh, address label had uh, <clears throat> been kind of worn down, so it didn't have the, the address on there. So it probably had to go back to Amazon and have them read the bar barcode. You know. But I think. Well, some, they, what they was told that? Was me that... today that they re-delivered it, and I'm like, what does that mean? Yeah, well, they probably looked at the... Uh, they, they told me to go downstairs and look for it, and I said, well, it's in New York, and I'm in California, so... Yeah. I know what happened to it. Right. Some He ripped it... At, Alex went downstairs and ripped it out of the hands of some homeless child that was camped out yeah. in front of his building. It says, it says, it says get well. Yeah. What, was this, what was this for? My uh, night for that I took... the last time you were sick, you, you said that I don't send you... Tony said I sent him a bear and he got all teary eyed. And you said, when I'm sick, you don't send me a bear. So I said, I'll send you a bear. Well, I thought, yeah, Marjorie, I wondered what this was on the top of its head. And Marjorie said, what is it? And I, my only answer nice. was a, yam, a yarmulke. Yeah, that's uh, it. Uh, it's uh, ice for a headache but, or but it's whatever. But it's an ice bag. Yeah. Yeah. All right. At least you got it. That's good to know. Oh, uh, here's John Demonetizer Larkin. He's, he's, he. <laughs> That's what he calls himself now. Anyway, That's thank you so much. That's very sweet of you. You're welcome. Yeah, what very happened good. to John Larkin? Uh, you know, you were gone. Well, John for a- Larkin died a few years ago, and this is a guy we've uh, hired to play John Larkin. Hello, John. Yeah, it's it's me. <laughs> In the flesh. In the flesh. And Tony, too. Wow. Now, you see, you Straight can... Straight from the, from the tenderloin. You, you can say whatever you want about about san francisco phil but you don't know crap because you're not there larkin uh, i know is, crap and i try to avoid stepping larkin in. is in the middle of it right yeah it's pretty bad they he's got a point though that there are a lot of these organizations that are taking money to help the homeless and uh they're not they're not doing a good job i'll just is say Gly- that is now glide church is around the corner from you uh yeah. how are they at actually helping i think they feed a lot they, of people they do, yeah. They they do a good job. They've been doing it for years too. Um, yeah, you should give some money to them, Phil. They, you know, you know, they, they, maybe I'll, send them seven thousand dollars, and then maybe they, then they can try and get a hard on. <laughs> I got to work hard for the money. <laughs> I can't believe what you waste. That's a lot of money. money. I could... He wastes his money on stuff. I, I give money every year to Glide, Phil. You should give yeah. them some money. It, it'd be better uh, than giving it to Donald Trump. Give, what you do is you buy Astro Glide. But uh, hey, John, you and I had a bet on uh, Trump and either arrest or in jail or something. Do you remember the actual bet? Yeah, I do. But what is it? It was uh, it, either Trump gets elected. If he gets elected president again, you win. If he goes to jail, I win. Oh, oh, he has to go to jail. Yeah. 
Uh, all right. Yeah. Okay. Uh, I think I knew we had a bet, either and, one of those and if, things. And if I owed, I was going to pay up. But uh, yeah, you're getting close. <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, so was Trump getting close too, John? So. <laughs> Yeah, I know. Save America again. He didn't do it right the first time. Is that what he's saying? Ah, Tony gave me this. What's it? The Trump yeah, show. Interesting. Did I? Yeah. On sale for a dollar. I didn't it's send you that, did I? Yeah, you did. Interest, I interesting. Oh, that was a while ago. Okay. Yeah. Interesting little fact that, and I mentioned this last yeah. night. He doesn't send me anything. That, uh, send you I will. Donald That's Trump, different. while he was in office, yeah. uh, signed yeah. a executive order. Make it uh, imposing a five year jail sentence on anyone who compromises classified documents in the government. They nobody can prove that Trump showed those documents or, or compromised. Oh, no, they can prove it. They've got they've got they've got audio of him. I heard tonight. Let me ask you a simple question, Maria Phil. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you a simple question. And yeah. depending on your answers, whether I'm going to tell you to shut up or not, <laughs> that is, have you read the indictment? No. I sent it to oh, him. Oh, well, I have. Every word of it. Phil, I sent you an email of it. What yeah, I didn't read it. You didn't read it. So you no. don't know what's in that indictment, so how can you even talk about it? I, I know you that there were 37 <laughs> documents that no, they're thir- it thir- thir- no, it wasn't 30. See, that's because you didn't it read it. was 37 it. charges. 30, there are 37 charges, yes, and they're not all for documents. I, I love it how he got it wrong again. Uh, how, how many here? For- Has anybody else here read? I ran over. I went over a little bit. I sent it to him on Friday when the news broke, Phil. That I said, "Oh, it's breaking." That they they send it out on Friday, Alex, because they wanted to get ahead of it over the weekend to make it transparent, so they didn't Tony, have to be confused. You're better off reading it to him. I read the face page. I saw that the I said it. His, you know, his, uh, his assistant was also named. He's co-conspirator. You read the like face a, page. You know, taxi driver. You read the face page, Phil. All right. What? What? Well, you, re, you, read, some of it. you read the face page. Oh, he read the face page about the homeless in San Francisco too. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you know, I mean, I think it's. Uh, I think that if if you uh, if you want to find out about it, you want to be able to talk about it, uh, then you should read it. You know. Well, it's a one-sided document. It's, it's not a one-sided document, Phil. If you read yes, it, you would the, know what I'm talking about. It's the government's charges. No, Trump no, no. It's more than that. It's more than Trump, that. It's more than that, Phil. But you don't know because you haven't read it. Trump has not been given an. Am, am I right? Hold, hold on a second. Kevin support. said he. Kevin said he read it, right? Kevin. Not uh, yet. Yeah. Not yet. Okay. Yeah. What were you going to say, Brian? Okay, you're going to beat Kevin up the way you beat me up. It's supposed to be a one-sided document. It's supposed to be. What? It's so supposed you... to be a one-sided indictment. document. It's yeah. an indictment. That's right. That's right. That's what I'm saying. So a one-sided <laughs> document. Well, yeah, that's what it is. And all right. and what else do you want? Yeah, I want Trump to be able to defend himself. Brian's got well, that's the other side of the document, but I don't know what he's going to come up with some good shit to go against the other document. He's well, he's got I, a crooked judge too. The judge could throw the whole thing out. Yeah, who is the governor Huckabee? Huckabee and uh, and Bartolomo. Uh, I I watched a uh, a discussion between them, and Huckabee seems to feel that uh, Trump is uh, uh, got a defense. And that's uh, that's Huckabee. Huckabee's a douchebag. Huckabee was a, a governor. So He's what? A so what? So was so was uh, Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yes, oh. uh, Huckabee's a pretty smart guy, and what he said <laughs> is the Presidential Records Act allowed Trump to take those. Uh, uh, those no, but things. no, no, it doesn't. No, it doesn't, <laughs> Phil. No, it doesn't. And but uh, no, you it know, doesn't. The pre- that presidential act has nothing to do with it. Yes, but after he had them in his possession, uh, he had them in his possession when he was president, and uh, and if he still he didn't had- have them in the, his possession, he it, had them in the White House. Well, how did they where they in were supp- where, what, because he took them. Because he Correct. stole them. He was pre- no, he, he was stole president them. When he took he, them. No, he was he wasn't president when he took them. Because when he left, he took stuff with him after he was no longer president. 
Well, when they Phil, you read the, the in, read the he indictment because it, it covers stuff like that. Well, look, the read the indictment is, and then come back to me and we can discuss it. All right. It, what happens is though, uh, when you take stuff out of the White House while you're still president, mm -hmm. if that stuff is supposed to be returned to the National Archive, the, anything that uh, you know is mm -hmm. uh, uh, what do they call it? classified gets returned to the National Archive. Trump says that he was negotiating. Phil, Phil, he wasn't negotiating anything. The National Archives asked for that material. He did not turn it over to them. They then, I think, asked him again, and they didn't. So then they went to the government, and the government just simply went in and got the stuff. Well, that's not the way you negotiate. No, that was no, he. You negotiate when you say you're going. What, what What can we do to get this back to you? What's to negotiate? Exactly it's right, not, Phil, that's not how you negotiate. That's how do you negotiate it? It's exactly not right. yours, Phil. It belongs to the American the public. It belongs to the United States of America. He felt that something that's not yours. yours. Wait, wait, Brian? Yeah. <laughs> we already established last night that the idiots that like Trump don't read that document because they don't want to know what it says. So why, let's go to the next uh, oh, next discussion. Yeah, that that's a good way of doing of, uh, of we already Sorry. talked about that last night. We said the Trump people don't want to know the truth. They don't want to know what's in that document, so they won't read it. Well, And that's what I, you're saying, Phil. You're saying you're not going to read that document. I didn't say I wasn't going to. I said I so you say you have not read that document. It's the hottest thing going on right now, the most important, okay. and you're not reading it because you don't want to know the truth that's in there. That's not true. Father Bennett just said, read the document. <laughs> so when Father Bennett says, read it, I'll read it. Oh, he's waiting for it. You want to get the audio tape, probably. Well, uh, did you, didn't, you, didn't you say, Tony, that you sent it to him? I, yeah, Friday when it was breaking, Alex, I sent it to him. I said, Phil, this thing is breaking. This day. What it was is, it's, it's, I, was say, mm -hmm. I was reading that the AP people wanted to say, get it out there. The government wanted to get it out there. So it didn't look like Tuesday when they were going to indict him. They want to make it transparent so he couldn't get ahead saying, so they want this open to the public so everybody can see this is what we have against them. Well, this is what we're showing what we have. Because yeah, I, I told but Phil. He could so have to honest, it, the point is, he could have totally avoided this and avoided in Yes, it, it, I told that to Phil Alex. He could to totally have avoided it, and he didn't. Yes, uh, 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 Alan. Uh, yeah. So Trump is sucking all the oxygen out of the room. All these, all these other candidates, including him, want to win the election and get Biden out of office. You notice that none of them, including Trump, are talking about how they're going to remove Biden and w what's wrong with Biden and all that. Everybody is listening to Trump suck all the oxygen out of the room. He well, is, he is earlier, like right? Albert said, he's a he's the great American victim. Well, they're all victims. That's what. No, I, then I, they, I, who's the, who's they, Phil? Yeah, they, who's they? Is is every, they all the Republicans? Every group you you don't you don't what do you do you you put a towel over your head in the morning when you get up you, you know every vic, every group out there is claiming victimhood every you know whether it's gay or black or jewish or uh the french or the canadians come on bill bill there's a difference between what gays and and blacks and all those are going through don't say that it's the same thing that trump is talking and don't about. put him in the same category oh my god so what Phil. i said was Trump he is, is a, he, he, he is a maker same. of his own fate. Okay. Do you, do, you, do you believe that, Bill? Do you believe that he could avoid it all this? He had a lawyer. Yes. He had a lawyer okay. say say to him, and this is on the record. He had a lawyer yeah. say to him, "I can go to the government right now, and they'll probably be willing to make a deal on this thing because I think they don't want to go to court, and you don't want to go to court." Yeah. And he said, "I can go and talk to them." And Trump said, "No, don't do it." Because he'll never admit that he's so, wrong. So Phil, so Phil, don't do you, it. So, so when you say when you right, say that, um, oh, he was willing to negotiate. No, he wasn't. He Phil, didn't. If, he didn't. And this, by the you, way, is from the lawyer. Let me just mention this. This is from the lawyer who took notes on all these things so that he could right. protect his ass if anybody came after him. Who was that? Michael Cohn? No, it wasn't Michael uh -huh. Cohn. It was his <laughs> head lawyer, the uh, number Brooklyn. one lawyer he so had, Phil, the one that just Ryan's quit. Ryan's trying to get a. So Phil, so Phil, if you admit that he could have avoided all this, why didn't he? Because, you know, he, oh, who Joe. would have imagined? Who would have imagined the DOJ would raid his house at six in the oh, morning? So, so he I thought he could get away with it. Underwear then. drawer. 
So he, so he didn't avoid this whole thing because he, he thinks he could get away with it? No, because he was negotiating. He hadn't come to an Bill, agreement. Bill, you don't take, I don't go and, buy, and go take this guy's car and bring it to my house and then say, well, hey, let's negotiate the price now. But you see, he, he was in lawful possession of that according to him. Well, no, according, according to him, him according to his lawyers, too. according to his lawyers, he wasn't in loyal in 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 legal possession of them, and they were trying to find a way to get him out of it, and he wouldn't let his lawyers even do the job they were hired I, to do. They have, I don't they have know. him saying, what? they have him saying, uh, what did he? Say? He said, uh, uh, why do why, why do we just why don't we just say we don't have? Hmm. Have you know, when you think you've got client lawyer privilege. Uh, you know, uh, people will say a lot of things, he but, uh, and, and, you know, I you bet Phil, Phil, you're talking out of your ass right now. You can't well, admit, you know, you, you know, you're like Trump. You can't admit when you're wrong. If you're talking to your lawyer, you mm -hmm. feel about that, doing a crime, then there's well, no, there's but no, he wasn't doing it to him. It wasn't, they, the were. they were, they were, they were talking about hiding the documents so they couldn't have, wouldn't yeah, have to give them it. back. That's him, 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 him. Yeah. Him, him. You know, I, I got audited once and I, you know, I said, you know, hey, uh, you know, what if there was a fire? <laughs> you know, I mean, that's a, it's a joke. No, fire, you can't say fire in a thing. You can get dressed for that. You can't Phil, tell fire you didn't movie, steal. You didn't it? steal top secret documents, yeah. uh, many of which it, 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 if you read the thing, it says what's not what specifically is in those documents because they can't. They don't want to reveal that, but they say the nature of what those documents were, and the top secret ones will curl your hair or what's well, left I, of it. I understand that the the attack plans on <laughs> Iran were very old and no it, it longer. It doesn't say anything oh, about it. Oh, there's expiration date now. Wait a minute. It doesn't say anything about attack plans on Iran in the indictment. That's, that's what I heard. It doesn't say. That's what you heard. Why don't you read the damn indictment? All right. Well, I, I heard that there was uh, things on. What about uh, the... This is all stuff uh, he hears, you know. I, w I wish really you were farting instead of this other stuff coming out of your ass. <laughs> what what about uh, the, the papers on who killed Kennedy? He, and, he, oh, no. And, and, uh, oh, and are, are we, are we now changing the topic? Oh, that, that, you know, that's that could be what it is. They haven't told you what those papers are. Well, remember Trump said it was... No, papers. they said they said the nature of them. <laughs> That it was on certain things about a foreign country, plans for for uh, for uh, uh, the, the, our government to respond to a certain uh, certain kinds of things, but it wasn't. It didn't exactly say what it was because they. they it's going to be very difficult when they do this trial because they're mm -hmm. going to have to convince a jury that these things really were. Uh, um, um, uh, what do you call uh, it? Is boxes included information regarding defense weapons capabilities of both the United States and foreign countries, United States nuclear programs, potential vulnerabilities of the United States and its allies to mil military attack and plans for possible retaliation in response to a foreign attack. The unauthorized disclosure of these classified documents could put at risk national security, the United States, foreign relations, the safety of the United States military, and human sources and the and if my name if, 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 intelligence if, if, collection if my name was Edward Snowden where would I be right now Russia be in the country yeah. <laughs> yeah wait I would have left the country or I'd be in jail right now yes yeah. also yeah. contain yeah. press clippings letters notes cards photographs official documents and other materials right. and cardboard boxes that were kept at the White House he among the among the materials Trump stored in the boxes were hundreds of classified documents. Okay, uh, yes, uh, uh, John. Yeah, that that, law, that judge that's presiding over it, she's bad news too, because she already tried to throw the kibosh in the thing, you know, on on, on the, the on the investigation, and she got slapped down for doing that. And now it turns out she's got no experience in any kind of courts, you know. I mean, in criminal courts. She only has like 14 days of trial experience on these low-level things, and now she's going to be presiding over one of the most important uh, trials in the history. Well, the, of the the, what's worse is not that she's a Trump uh, appointee. No, no, but yeah, what, yeah. What's, what's really worse than that is she has no trial experience. She's only presided over 14 small trials. Yeah, and that's it. 14 days of trial. 14, 14 days of trial. trial. You're right. Yeah. 
<laughs> you know, uh, and I don't know. way over her head. Yeah. Oh, I don't I, think you can uh, blame Trump appointees. Look at these recent uh, Supreme Court uh, things on affirmative action that Gorsuch and uh, Kavanaugh voted uh, with the uh, liberal. Uh, uh, what, what are you talking about? You, well, that's uh, not till tomorrow. How do you know it's not till tomorrow? No, no, no. It's, uh, I, I understand that they had sided uh, with the uh, liberal side of the court. No, that was on the... Uh, that was the, on the Stanford the, the University. The adoption Harvard. of Indian children. Indian, yeah, Indian children. Yeah. Uh, not India children, Native you Americans. you got to realize, Phil only reads the headline. <laughs> and usually he never gets past the word the. You're, you're reading uh, the Daily Caller too much. You're reading the Daily Caller. Yeah, yeah. communist paper. Uh, I mean, it's, you know, I mean, um, there's a lot to, to chew about here. Uh, I, yes, I think uh, he should, he's allowed to, you know, have a trial. And I, you know, but I, I read the, the stuff against him. And uh, what's his name? Uh, the former governor of New Jersey, uh, Chris, oh, Chris Christie. Christie. Chris Christie was saying the other day on the air, and by the way, he's fun to hear on this subject, by the way. He said that as you know he was a, an attorney general he had 190 successful prosecutions one of which of course was whose father Kushner, oh, uh, jerry kushner's fa father kushner, yeah. yeah put him in jail um, put, him put, in jail. put him in jail yeah. uh but he was a very good uh attorney general i mean he, and he, he in speaking in legalese he said here's something most people don't realize what you read in that indictment is maybe one third of what they've got," he said. Because when when I was attorney general, we only presented one third of what we had, holding the other two thirds in case we needed it, you know. And so there's more to this than there than they're even put in that that indictment. Yes, uh, uh, Tony. And I told that to Phil. I was reading. I forgot where I was reading it. I, I had gone to the library to pick up some books, and I was reading something in the library. And I think I told this to Phil. I even Googled it. When, you're right. When Christie said that, do you know I told this to Phil? They say when they go to a, when they do federal charges, they make sure they have like almost like a locked case. They don't want to bring this and lose it. Do you know most cases when they go federal, ninety percent convictions, eight percent of the time they plead. That's why his lawyer probably wants to plead. They only get off. They only beat it like two two percent of the time. They're saying. This is what I was reading. Well, you also don't want to take the chance of losing. Yeah. You know, that's I mean, why they, his lawyer probably wanted to plead a case here to cut a deal. Yeah. Well, I mean, they probably so much stuff on him. Yeah. Trump will never cut a deal, though. You know, he, yeah. he may be forced to if he's faced with jail time. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's the worst well, advice well, that Roy well, Cohn ever gave him. Was you? Yeah, that, you said it the other day. That is, you can't keep denying, Alex, unless they see the evidence. If this goes to trial, I, mean, I wonder, you have to ask the lawyer this. If this gets to trial, is his deal off the table then, or can he cut a deal while they're in trial? He can cut trial? a deal at any time. Okay. Yeah, he can cut the, a deal the, at any time. The he other can thing call I, the court right now and cut but, a deal. But if he cuts a deal towards the end of the trial when things are looking really bad for him, yeah. then yeah. they can hold him up for, okay, well, you're going to spend five years in prison. We were, we're, not gonna, we're not going to ask for the 100. I totaled up all the possible numbers. How many did you get? It's like 150 years. If, if they, guy in jail, I got it. Yeah. <laughs> I, oh, I heard. Wait, wait, for, him heard cut a deal, wait a minute, what, for, what? for him to cut a deal, he'd have to go in court and admit that that he's guilty and what he did was wrong. You know, they'd make That's him do beyond, that. Beyond That's beyond his. You, you know what they might do? They might go. This is what I think they'll do. They'll say, look, we'll cut you a deal, no jail time. But you cannot ever run for any political office ever again. That's what they did to uh, Agnew. That they sounds good. On him they, too. they may put uh, a gag I, on it too, John. I read uh, that the jurors are going to be granted um, uh, a um, clearance uh, to be able to see these documents. I think but, that they're not going to see them that much, however. I think nope, they're going to be on a monitor, is what they said. Yeah. The jurors are going to read them on a monitor, and they're going to redact anything that's of of national concern. Yeah, but they said they were going to give them clearance. But uh, what you know, they said I he's not a flight risk. But what if he shaves his head? You know, we won't recognize him without that hair. He could disappear. <laughs> with the <laughs> but never know who he was. Where's his hair? Judge, look better. 
Is this going in with him, Phil? Usually, usually in major cases, the judge will, if they're if they're not going to charge him to uh, stay out of jail, <clears throat> they will usually take his passport, and they did let not me, take let, his. Let me passport. ask the married men here in the in this crowd tonight. Uh, which would be here? Kevin and Brian, would be Jeff Kevin. and would be Brian and would be I mean, me. Uh, if you got busted for something and then you had to go to court, would your wife go with you? She's in New York in the dentist. Huh? So what not, it is. not if I just paid $130,000 to a stripper. <laughs> oh, no, I mean, no, I'm saying if you if you got arrested and you, you had yeah. to go to court, would, you, would your wife come to court with you? Yes. How about you, Kevin? Depends on what it is. Uh, uh, no. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah, I just paid off the stripper. No. Yeah. How about you, Jeff? Or no access. Yeah. Where You're so is, quiet, where, Jeff. You're where, muted. Uh, where Where's Melania? Oh, where's Melania? Guaranteed. She was getting that she would, her oh, teeth worked on. Yeah, I can't hear. She was in Manhattan. They shouldn't have this. I I missed what Jeff said. Phil cut That's him cool. off. <laughs> was see. that what where she was? That's what I heard. She was at the dentist in Manhattan. <laughs> Jeff was trying to say something. You know, you take you make, you call your dentist and say, I don't think I can make it on th Tuesday. I've got to be with yeah. my husband in federal court. I'm having an affair with the dentist, Alex. <laughs> <laughs> she couldn't get child care. Yeah. Uh, yes, ahead, Brian, Jeff. what were you going to say, Brian? Oh, it was Jeff. 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 Oh, Jeff. Sorry, guys. If, if I was going to court, Pam would help me, whatever, not end up in prison <laughs> okay well she's a lawyer i would hope so well that helps but you know okay she's not that kind of an attorney she criminal or no 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 no, no. no. She's environment no and in fact uh, to tell you the truth neither is uh trump's head lawyer <laughs> he'll settle for anything the right now. he's <laughs> using right now down there is actually one of his uh, people does his corporate law He's going to go to jail. Yeah, I mean, he's going to go to jail. Uh, so he, he has no representation. He's better off doing it himself. And he can't like, get, so him, he can't lawyer, get himself a decent is. criminal lawyer because nobody wants to do business with him because he's known for not paying. Who's that Berkeley professor that is a, a liberal that likes uh, uh, that seems to support Trump on? Uh, oh, I know. Uh, uh, the Ted Kaczynski. No. no. Ted, the uh, Ted Kaczynski hung himself. Yeah, yeah I no. So they I heard he was dead. It, I didn't hear that he hung himself. Yeah, he hung uh, himself. The uh, he committed suicide, but the uh, who? It's a Berkeley professor. Yeah, Dershowitz. 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 Yeah. He's not a Berkeley yeah. professor. It, he, I thought he's just a law, he's just a lawyer. He's yeah, a Harvard, he was yeah. a Harvard professor. Harvard, Harvard, Harvard professor. professor. Yeah. yeah, there's a difference between uh, uh, really teach UC law, so. lawyer. Hardly and, liberal, though. Yeah, probably fifty thousand a quarter. <laughs> but uh, uh, yeah, he's he's a liberal, but he's a constant. He's I'll tell you, a good criminal lawyer you should get. Giuliani's available. <laughs> yeah, we're he, they know, they know, they he can't practice law. We can't practice law. You're right. They revolt. <laughs> On a county, stupid. <laughs> I mean, it, it, look at guys like Giuliani. Look at guys like Trump. They're the masters of their own fate. Yeah. You know, it's me. It's uncanny how far they fell fell down the rabbit hole. Really. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I love that that the the source of the uh, Giuliani's that says that uh, uh, the Biden family took five million from China and they they all of a sudden he died. The guy just died, so now they don't have that source anymore. <laughs> yeah, well, he's probably, uh, probably, probably killed by the by the Biden crime family. Yeah, yeah, yeah of course. Not the course. laptop. Yeah, that laptop. I hear so much of the laptop. Wait a minute, we here have we a, go again with the laptop. We have a guest here on the show. Oh, yeah. She needs to show Daddy something. Man, she's growing up. Look how big she, she is. really is. Yeah. Look at her. Hi. <laughs> she hasn't been seen for about a year. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're growing. She's first yeah. grade, Brian. She wants something right now, so you guys can ask her a question, and she has to answer it. <laughs> what? What did you say? What grade are you in? First. No, Get right. out of I'm here. Funny. You're older than that. Yeah, she's going into second. That's what I thought. Oh, really? 
Yeah, she's only seven. I, it was wow. wonderful. We no, have I, it'll we, be eight. Yeah, eight in a few months. The yeah. uh, the kind of the cover, the shed, the scaffolding that they had down in the courtyards, all gone now. Yeah. And all of a sudden, there are kids back out there playing. Oh, they haven't wow. been able to play there for two years, mm. two and a half years. What did they years. do to the homeless that were there? <laughs> we No, that's <laughs> outside. I know. Where, no, where that's outside. The Inside, thing. in the courtyard, that was covered, too. Uh, yeah. But they oh, finished, so they're, they finished they're the courtyard. They're still outside. Yeah, they're still, they're still outside. outside. There's still they're another two months out it. there before yeah. they get that down. But right. uh, And, and the, the kids are now down there. And, they, and this one kid was going around on his bicycle... And he was saying, "Boy, tomorrow's the end of school year, and I, where, what, what grade are you in? I'm in kindergarten. I'm going to first, first grade next year. So she's just finishing first grade." You know? Wow. Before and his that, girlfriend that, said to him, "And Trump's going to prison." She's <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's in her ballet outfit still. So. Okay. Say good night. Say good night. Say good night. Say it's good great night. seeing you. Great seeing you all. Say it. You know, she, you, you know what? She's getting tall. Yeah, she, she is tall. Price. Yeah, Brian's tall. Yeah. yeah, 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 the, yeah uh, Brian's sitting down, so that that's okay. not a fair. What are you yeah, like? Some of you Brian? seen the picture I posted with her, her friends and dance, and yeah, she's <laughs> like her head <laughs> the hair to her. Wow. <laughs> okay. Hey, Brian. I, 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 go, go. Yes, 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 yes. What are you? Six three. Six four. Wow, oh, so that's why she's probably going to be tall. You know, yeah, yeah. Wish I was six four. Wow. Anyway, yeah. uh, so but, you know, it's it's and... just it's just I think it's a shame <laughs> that all, all of this has to be happening. It was avoidable, and uh, but you've got a guy who's got such an ego. I mean, he, he keeps referring to those as my boxes. There's one point here in the transcript where they say he's telling somebody stay away from my boxes. He was protecting them. He uh, does like some of the crap. Come on, not to me. No, like me and my superhero toys have fine. He was referring to the stripper that was there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. But well, anyway. the good thing is, is that uh, Trump, for the first time in his life, is going to be held accountable. You hope. We hope. Well, I think Ty, I think his his criminal like life him. has caught up with him. You know, and, oh, and, and he's used to he's used to worming his way out of stuff, but Absolutely. this is a little more serious than the other stuff he had to worm himself out of. You know, how does the casino go out of business, go bankrupt? A lot of them did. Uh, oh, during nice. the, you had the hurricane. Uh, the the well, that, well those are happening. real reasons. Yeah, those are physical oh, gotta, reasons. Can I say? Yeah. I was listening to you the other night when you mentioned a casino and. My grandmother used to get on the bus, you know, and she used to go once a month to the Atlantic City where you get the bus ticket. And on the ticket, they would give you a free lunch and like spending money. Mm -hmm. And she, and I swear, I'm not joking about this. The junk she, she hated Trump, though. You know what she used to tell me, Alex? Trump never gave, his hotel never gave them free lunches. So she used to go to Caesars. She says he was cheap, meaning like nobody would want well, to go to Caesars. stupid. The reason you give a free lunch is so people would come into your <laughs> casino and bet all their money. Exactly. You wouldn't even throw her a free lunch. She took me once on the. Well, I was an idiot back then too. Yeah. We saw we go to Caesars. Yeah. Um, he, he throw a sandwich at these people. All so right. They can... On Drudge, there's a headline oh, no. that says yeah. Trump promises free food for everyone at a restaurant. He left thieves without paying. There you go. Got <laughs> I knew That's, that was going to uh, happen. That was, it was uh, a human place too. Drudge told headline. You. Now you know we have you, on the other side. You've got. Uh, uh, Brian's daughter in uh, first grade, and <clears throat> dear Kevin's daughter just graduated from high school. She's going to Oregon. Mm -hmm. Are you? Is that making you feel older? Be you, today, today, today. Watch out! Your beard's going to go uh, gray or white. <laughs> Yeah. Look, he's wearing his A's hat. Is that an A's hat? Yeah, and an A's t shirt. I got mine too. Uh, the Oregon Ducks. Uh, oh, oh, the Oregon Ducks and your A's t shirt. That's now, the A's. What is the, yeah. What's the significance of the skull uh, with the A over it? Grateful Dead. Dead. Grateful oh, Dead. What was it? Some kind of Grateful Day, <laughs> the Dead Day at, uh, at the Oakland A's? Yeah, what, a couple years ago or whatever. Oakland Coliseum. Yeah. Yeah. And what is that? Uh, that's the yeah. Oakland A's um, mascot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Baseball. Yeah. Early Finley. 
Yeah. Oh, is it, that be. that was an old uh, logo, old, right? Yeah. That, with all the all the junk you got, John, you should buy be able to buy your way out of the tenderloin. I like it here. I work. I can walk to work. I got rid of my car. I don't have to worry about my car anymore. Yeah, I love it. And if you didn't get rid of it, somebody would have gotten rid of it for you. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, what happened was um, I was parking it out by Fulton, down by the park, you know, yeah. and I'd move it like once a week for the street cleaning. And then somebody, I came to it one day and somebody stole my catalytic converter. Wow. So oh. I called up Toyota. I said, hey, how much would it cost to get a new one? They go, oh, it's going to be 800 bucks, but you're going to have to wait about six months because wow. everybody's getting they're all getting stolen yeah. so i said fuck it i sold it and got rid of it i don't need a car wouldn't if i you, need to go wouldn't, anywhere wouldn't you thought that if they had catalytic converters on cars they would somehow put them on in this way that people couldn't get them off without special. there's a guard you can buy which uh yeah. kind of works yeah. for me just bought one for his toyota and i was yeah. thinking about getting one for mine uh they're about 300 dollars, and it's like a plate and it, and it goes over the catalytic converter. All you got to do is put a Trump for president sticker on the catalytic converter. Nobody <laughs> will touch it. No, no they'll, just take, they'll, they'll, they'll just take they'll the whole damn all car. The glass. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, yeah. how do they steal it? They have to get underneath it with a hacksaw yeah, to get the thing off. No, they, they have, have a hacksaw called a, a sawzall. It takes them about 30 seconds. It, yeah, it's battery it's operated. Not a it's not minutes. a hacksaw called a sawzall. It's a sawzall. Yeah. Oh, really? Wow. They they go they go, they slide under the car cuz usually the Priuses and all those cars have a little bit of room right. there. They slide right in. They take you know 20 seconds for this one, 20 seconds for this one and they're gone. My SUV. car is really high because it's a four-wheel drive SUV and it would be so easy to get under there. But tomorrow I'll be giving <laughs> Phil's address online if they, they but, want. You know, where where can they plug in the sawzall? Oh, wait a minute, John, why is it? They have the battery char chargeable one. I have one downstairs. I mean, no, I, I to, outside of that being a very expensive catalytic converter, why does it take so long for them to get another one? Because, uh, Jeff, because Jeff, they're all getting stolen. They don't have any in stock. That's yeah, right. Man. Yeah. Yeah. And guess what country them. they come from? China. It's the rare <laughs> earth. That it, rare. Jeff Jeff was trying to say something earlier. Yeah, yeah. it was Pam had one and it was stolen. Oh. Yeah. Well, you Andrew bought her a new one, car, right? And he left it in Brooklyn outside instead uh -huh. of going underneath to park it. Ooh. Well, there, there are metals in there like palladium and Popper, yeah, I think, whatever yeah. it is. They Platinum. Easily. Platinum. Isn't palladium a, like a place for Rock it shows. It used to be a discotheque in yeah, San Francisco. Yeah, it used to be a palladium. Was a, it's a picture. It's not called, it can't be called palladium. It's a nightclub. Uh, yeah, it is. It, the, it was there, was is there, there is a metal called palladium. There is a metal called palladium, though, and it's, it's in element. catalytic converters. I think it's one of the elements, isn't it? I think so. Mm -hmm. Platinum yeah. is the most expensive thing that's in the catalytic well, converters. elements have big trumps. Yes. <laughs> Da, 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 you know how to quiet a room. Yeah, I, I, I just put on the grinding halt alarm, which you were very good at doing earlier. So you know, don't blame me. Hey, I was teaching you how to do it. You, I, everything I learned, I learned from you. I know. Uh, you know. I watched that Hannity and uh, Gavin Newsom meet. Very uh, good, wasn't it? Yeah, you know, Hannity just does diarrhea of the mouth, and yeah. every time he said something stupid, in general, very vague, you know, Newsom said, hey, you, you mentioned six things, let's go through those six things, the economy, and he would just start rattling off the numbers, and yeah, he's very and good. People felt he really took Hannity out for lunch, yep. you know, uh, and, yep. and I saw that, and the only thing that really bothered me was how Hannity wouldn't shut up, mm -hmm. you know. He wouldn't give him time to, he would say something, and then Newsom would try to answer it, and while he was trying to answer it, Hannity would start talking. Sounds it's like the Republican Hannity. way, just look at Phil. Hmm. You know, I, I mean, you know, it, 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 all Hannity had to say was, "Hey, this is my show. I'll ask the questions." You know. Well, then, then, well, you then, if you're, then, if then if you're, then if you're, if you're, if you're uh, Newsom, you say to him, "Well, I'm your guest, and if you're not going to listen to my answers, I'll get up and say goodbye now." Yeah, kiss my yeah. ass goodbye. I'll try that on the next time you do it. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, but nobody will miss you. Do that on the show. You leave. It's okay. <laughs> Call in early. <laughs> No, but I mean, it was it, it Newsom when it was really holding him to to the his fire to the flames, you know. 
He will run in 2028. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's definitely, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And I wish he'd run now. <laughs> I mean, you know, I... I, I I'm 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 83. Okay, so I can say this and screw all of you, but quite frankly, uh, I don't want uh, Biden to run. I think he's too old to run. Doesn't Newsom have a lot of baggage? I'm going to agree. Newsom, agree. Newsom doesn't have a lot of baggage. I think he's done a great job, but take a break, man. More, more baggage. Like Trump. Trump. Do you mean baggage like Trump? Uh, Trump no, I'm has not comparing Trump, him to Trump. Trump has so much. That Newsom has a lot of baggage. It, 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 Trump, no, it, Trump has more no, baggage than he should have baggage. without going on a vacation. Okay, he was, he's a progressive. He's a progressive governor, and that's what people will fire up him on. You know? And also, he won't take crap from anybody else. I mean, if he were running today against Trump, Trump wouldn't get a word out of his mouth without being called to account for it. Or DeSantis, or DeSantis, or any of them. Yeah. The only guy who, of all of them, who's bright enough to go up against Trump, is uh, what's his name from from New Jersey? Uh, yeah, Chris Christie. Chris Christie. Oh, that was great interview last night on the news with him. Boy, he went after Trump big time. And the thing he did that was a couple nights ago. Oh, uh, was CNN, it? I yeah. just heard it last well, night. It was a long one. Yeah. That was didn't that Trump was good. Him? Didn't Trump throw Chris Christie under the bus? No, uh, like he does everybody. Chris Christie is the guy that trained him for the Hillary uh, debates. I, I I know, but I believe that Trump threw Chris Christie under the bus when no, uh, when Christie was studying when, when when the minute that Christie was no longer playing Trump's game and was right. not complimentary about him, mm. that's when Trump started getting nasty about him. That's all Trump ever does. If you you know he expects. He expects incredible loyalty from everybody around him. Wouldn't you agree with that, Phil? Yeah. Yeah, but he doesn't give loyalty to anybody else. Do you think he's picking up this Nauta's uh, uh, legal fees? I don't think so. He wouldn't buy them Cuban food. Does in fact, I think Nauta said in court that he didn't have a, a, a lawyer at the at the present time. Now, Nauta is, is an employee of Trump? Uh, yeah. Yes. Driver. And he did this or is accused of doing this while he was in Trump's employee. Yes. yes. Yep. So shouldn't Trump be responsible? Yes, for... but he's not. He well, he's no. not he has, at the He has no loyalty for anybody. But I think he's going to have to pay his own lawyers. And by the way, did anybody see the att former attorney general? What's his name? My, my name Barr. Barr. Uh, his comments. He right. said, yeah. I've read the indictment. If all those things can be proven... Trump is toast. Yep. If all of those things. Quote unquote. No, he, he, I, he actually yeah, didn't put it that way. Things. He said, after what I read, I believe Trump is toast. Is what yep, he said. he said toast. I love yes, it. Yes, that's uh, based on a one-sided <laughs> indictment. <laughs> it, it isn't a one-sided indictment. It it's is an indictment score. that came as, at, as you got to remember, this is an indictment, Phil, that came at the as the result of endless amounts of hours of research and 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 uh, uh, checking everything they could possibly check it wasn't like they were out to get him but they were yeah. out to if he did something they wanted to be able to oh, indict believe him. me they were out to get no him. they weren't out to get him phil just like the trump dossier was hours oh hours my god of, here we of, go uh, again the you know they 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 had a motion on the floor of the house to oh. sanction uh, Adam Schiff over reading the Trump dossier into uh, the congressional record. Yeah, and, and, it and, and he didn't it. read. That's bullshit. He it never read the dossier. Huh? They didn't even use the dossier for anything. Yeah, they used it for the FISA warrants and and uh, well, they, no, they weren't. Didn't. Adam they Schiff. Didn't. No, they weren't. Phil, where do you get your information? Well, I get the truth. Ooh. No, uh, no, no. What you do is you hear something out of the side of your ear and then you repeat it out of the other side of your I'm ear. Getting, Look, you're, uh, you're they, getting your news from they, Fox and they said uh, that, that and somewhere that, between uh, here and here, the whole thing gets translated the into gibberish. The plugs, the plugs. Yeah. Like, yeah, the <laughs> dossier was the reason for the FISA warrants. That was the. Uh, no, it wasn't. Oh, you, stand up and vote. Oh, it wasn't. <laughs> The, the, they got the FISA warrants because the uh, the the um, the du the dude w knew that was uh, the uh, guy that worked for Trump told told the uh, 
the polit or the ambassador of Australia that the the rush that the, he knew that the Russians had hacked into uh, Hillary Clinton's email way before it even you know came out. Well, so they said, how, so how did this guy know about it? That's yeah. how they got the. the he, that's the, why the, she bleach bit the uh, the server and she destroyed her cell phone. <laughs> uh huh. Hurry up, snatch the phone. <laughs> Phil, Phil knows this how. Does that count Phil as us being able to have a drink, guys? Because he did bring up Hillary Clinton. Everybody yeah, have last, a drink. Last, have last, a drink. Night, last night we said either Hillary Clinton's oh, emails right. or there's something else when he mentions yeah. we have It's kind of like a, you bet no, your life. He the said Hunter the magic Biden word. You'll bring up yeah. one everybody, of the every, laptop, everybody, yeah. everybody, everybody, you know take a sip. that I slept eight hours last night? It's the first time I've had eight hours sleep in a couple of years. That's because yeah. you knew you were getting an injection in your weenie. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, well, seven times. Well, is it really worth seven thousand dollars? That's a lot of money. Oh, listen, <laughs> he's paying somebody seven thousand dollars to stick a needle yeah. in his penis. <laughs> hey, you know, it's not every day there's somebody who's willing to pay it's for John that. Holmes Two DNA. Needles. Usually, Two I needles. well, actually, I could get a cheaper uptown for you. No, I'm sure okay. you could. Yeah. Yeah, San Francisco. Do you, want me to send you, do you want me to send you a picture, Charlene? Give it all hell. <laughs> Are you going to bentcarrot.com for that? Uh, oh, no, I don't have the oh, bent yeah. carrot. There is the bent carrot. I, uh, I don't have the bent uh, 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 John. The peronis. No, but they, they do. I, I'll say, tell you the one thing. They do advertise. There's two companies, Men's Health something, and there's another company that advertises on KMBR. For yeah. all that stuff, they do. Yeah. They do they advertise do. on the sports talk like crazy. That's where I heard about like it. Phil. <laughs> yeah, that, that's where I heard about it at first. See? And Tony. And then I looked for a place when that was I, close. Tony. When I was going for my radiation, they, they were giving the older colored man, the Jamaican guy. Colored man? Colored man. <laughs> Yeah, he had to go to pee on the on the cross oh, island. You should come to Harlem, and, and we have lots of coloreds here. They, you already told me they were giving him Viagra for free. Oh, boy, you say, doesn't that work for him, Alex? If you took it, oh. what? Well, no, that, that he was selling the Viagra that you're making. I am taking it, but so wouldn't that work for him, Alex? If he took Viagra, uh, it, it, after a while, as you get older, and and the um, uh, I, I, I guess their arteries. That uh, that um, that's what they say on the advertisement. They right. say all this stuff on the advertisement. There's right. there's blockage in in the. Totally how, how, how old are you now, Phil? You're what? Ninety. So, uh, I'm going to be sixty nine next week. Uh huh. When I was your age, never had a problem. Yeah, but you didn't have diabetes since you're forty. So he, he does have diabetes. He's got to be careful with that. I told him that. My yeah, it's, it's the diabetes that's the scourge. That, uh, that that Rex. Uh, so the, you were talking earlier before we all came on about the plaque building up in the penis the, the because plaque. of the diabetes. Penis plaque. plaque. I think it was like going yeah. to the dentist, like the plaque. Or no. plaque. Yeah, but what, what you do is you go to the dentist and they can scrape it off. You, know? yeah. <laughs> you get these tiny vessels uh, that carry the blood that gives you an erection. And uh, if they're uh, with plaque, you don't get it. Can we talk about Trump? <laughs> the plaqueless president. Money to burn. I love it. It's got money to burn out. So, Kevin, you look kind of tired. Was it a bad? Yeah. Was that a heavy weekend for you? Well, they got the cost on. Meant, oh, yeah, it was fun. It was fun. Yeah, but you just look like your face is like t burnt. You got a little sunburned. Got a little, little roasted. Got a little roasted. Yeah, nothing will make you feel more tired than if you get a good sunburn, you know? Uh, I had a pretty relaxing day today. Do you ever, anybody ever, did you ever get, uh, um, what do you call it, a sunstroke? I got sunburned once bad. Yeah, I, yeah. I, I got sunstroke in Ibiza. I, I was out in the really? sun just too long. It was the last night that Lori and I were there, and um, I... Um, I got uh, sunstroke, and I didn't know what it was because I thought sunstroke was, hey, you just really got a sunburn, you were really bothered by it. You no, you it? actually get a stroke. My arm went numb. Really? Oh, oh wow. yeah. It's, it's, like a, it's, yeah. Like, it's like a, a physical stroke, only it's, it, it comes and then it passes. You know? Well, they it's, numb the member before they inject it. Well, you come on. Look who's here. <laughs> I said <laughs> member. 
Look I can't take a needle in the arm. He's taking it in the pee pee. <laughs> oh, remember, we, remember. Wait till she leaves the room, please. Oh, sorry. Use he the doesn't word have that member. type of class. It's like those jackets from the 80s, members only. Oh, I used to have a Mother Bowie one. They were puffy. <laughs> I think I just threw it out, actually. Yeah, and, well, I just, I, I just, you know, I, I, the, the whole idea of anybody sticking a needle in oh. that part of my... He's got it, guts. I couldn't do it. I kind of have a hard time taking any needle. Did it hurt, Phil? Yeah. Uh, there was a little sting. He was, he was talking to me on the phone while it happened, and he started crying. Oh, he wasn't. That might have been me. <laughs> oh. uh, you no, know, there's there's a little there's a little pressure, a little mm -hmm. sting. They said it's a very small needle, but it felt like it went all. No, the way they through. were talking about your penis. Small they needle were talking about you. your it, penis. Just the tip. <laughs> they gonna put the tip in. Just the tip. I can't see it, but everybody come and take a look at yeah. this. Uh, it, it, no, this needle must have been about six inches long. Oh, yeah, <laughs> six inches. <laughs> and the size <laughs> and the size of a telephone pole. <laughs> Why would they insert blood into your penis? It's like um, he's like he's like a vampire. <laughs> Because no. it's supposed to grow these arteries. Uh, you know, when I had a hundred percent blockage in in, yeah. in my uh, brain, my heart yeah. artery, uh, I got uh, what was called collateral arteries that grew around the blockage that mm -hmm. gave me enough blood to keep me alive, but not enough blood to go scuba diving or anything. Mm -hmm. And uh, so. Uh, uh, it's rare, but you get these what they call collateral arteries, and uh, and then I had to go and get a st multiple stent through that artery to mm -hmm. get through the plaque, and now I have the collateral arteries and I have an open uh, an, an open well, artery. What does that have to do with the other part here? Well, mm -hmm. it's the same, same kind of thing. It's no, a lot it's, of no, it's not. One costs seven thousand dollars, and you're not going to see anything for your money. And the other one costs maybe seven thousand dollars, and you're still alive. Here's the neat thing: he, he, he got the he's getting the weenie treatment. Fifteen years ago, he got a hair transplant. Boy, isn't that nice on top of his head? Still there. Well, I, I got more than you on top well, of your head. Well, it looks to me like mine didn't cost me $15,000. And if it did, they should put the guy in jail. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Before we go, uh, before we go, it's a uh, happy birthday to Kevin. Oh, happy birthday. Oh, oh Kevin. Wow. Is it your birthday today, Kevin? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, 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 Facebook. Yep. Yep. Thanks, Brian. Happy birthday to you. you now? Happy birthday to you. Hey, Happy you. birthday, Happy dear birthday. Kevin. Happy birthday Ooh, to you. Now. Are you sixty Kevin. now, Kevin? Uh, What's that? Are you sixty at this point? Sixty-six. I, Sixty-six. I'm off by one. I said sixty-five. And you're too old for Phil to date, so you're lucky. <laughs> oh yeah. Three more years, I'll get a shot in my. Hey, hey Alex. <laughs> Oh, hey Alex. Yes. Live 105 is back on the air. Yeah. Yeah. You think? Oh, I gotta you tell know, you something. It's back to that's, the old format. That's, that's hey, not. That's they mentioned not. your name in the uh, Chronicle. They mentioned your name. What? They, what did they say? They just said they go. You know, they were talking about all the old people, and they, you know, mentioned Alex oh. Bennett, Steve mm -hmm. Masters. Well, Big Rick I, I'm still waiting for the call from them to do a morning show. Anyway, oh, hey John. Hey, listen, John. Have, John, have you ever heard of uh, Bobby Slayton? Yes. Oh my God! Mute him! Oh, okay. Mute him! Mute him! Please. <laughs> anyway, Alex time. says Why nobody on the show ever time. heard of him. Everybody knows Bobby Slayton. I'm talking everybody. The general mm -hmm. listener, Phil. Anyway, listen, they gotta go. The theme is playing. Even but, Trump but, knows Bobby. Yeah, Mute him. Yeah. Uh, thank you very much, Phil, for being here tonight. Taking our abuse. At my age, I can't take this. Uh, uh, Jeff, at your age, you can't take this, right? Now, no, uh, at Kevin, much. at your new age, you can't take this. Happy birthday to you. And uh, happy, uh, hell, uh, Alan, thank you. Thank you for the teddy bear, too. Thank you You're very welcome. much tonight for, well. for being with us, Brian. And uh, say hello to Adrian for us. Thank her for her little participation. Uh, uh, Tony, good to see you here. And always good to see you here, uh, Mr. Larkin. Uh, everybody, give a big wave goodbye, and I'll give a big wave goodbye at you, okay? There they go. That's our citizen panel for tonight. Oh, yes, there they go. Let me just get rid of them here. Uh, Jack Bishop is next. He'll be uh, taking calls on Skype at GabNet Live. 
In the meantime, I'll see you again tomorrow night. Same time, same station in life. In the meantime, as always, if you see her, tell her I love her, okay? Bye-bye, everybody.